Hello everyone, this is all here and um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because it's because I have been annoyed at um, people saying something that is not true. They're saying that uh, our, that all the backup guards or the, all the buffers are the same and that is not the case. And uh, also I'm annoyed by, because some people in Germany were saying that uh, we copied the uh, Originally, the RC prototyping today, the name is First RC because they bought the, the rights. And no, we didn't copy anything. They are completely different units. The, uh, the First RC is a voltage based um, cap, and ours is a current based cap. Now, uh, I have here both. I already pre charged them. Okay, as you can see here, uh, this one is the the um, XCAR Plus 25, same size for the first RC, 25 also. And I'm gonna show you something. Why are they different? Let's look at this, you know, right now we have it connected. What you see here is a um, display of the voltage, okay? You're gonna see what back EMF is, okay? This is a voltage and when you do this, you see that? Those spikes, that's actually the back EMF. And if we, if we go and say, okay, let's uh, um, capture, okay, this is going to happen. See? All right. So now that you that we have ca captured that, we're going to see that, as you can see here, we have, uh, for instance, a maximum of 10.56 volts. This is supposed to be 8. So there is a spike. You know, those spikes here, those spikes means that the back MF is sending this towards the receiver. And uh, obviously the receiver is supposed to be maximum 8 volts, so you have that, and the servos, everything else. Anyway, so here we have a minimum 6.5, so it drops and also it goes to spike. So that's what happens when you have that. Now, you can get that fixed if you have a large capacitor connected to that. So this is exactly what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna test whether this one, the first RC, can filter that or not. So I'm going to go ahead and, and connect it here. Okay, this one is the is the um, S guard. Okay, I'm connecting that here, the uh, first RC. I'm gonna weigh a little bit so that you know we make sure that it's fully charged. Okay, well apparently it is. It's saying that it's fully charged. And I'm going to go ahead again and say, okay, let's capture again. Trigger single, single. Actually, let's first uh, do automatic so you can see the, the actual movement. And as you can see, there is no filtering whatsoever. This thing is connected fully and there is no filtering. So in other words, these capacitors are not connected to the power buffer, to the power um, uh, to the power of the system. These are there for when it drops. <clears throat> so they are not connected. They don't filter. The first RC does not have that ability to filter. Okay, that's what it is. Now let's unplug this. Okay. Okay, let's connect now the X guard plus. I'm going to connect it. Okay, same way like before. I'm gonna wait a little bit. Make sure that this is fully connected. Okay, all right. So now, because these capacitors are actually connected to the to that, we'll see what happens. Yeah, there is no spikes there. No spikes whatsoever. No back EMF, nothing, because it is filtering. Because our system is completely different than the one from, from um, First RC. First RC is an emergency um, system that will connect when there is a drop in voltage. In our case, our system is fully connected all the time. There is no switching 
delay. It's always connected. So if you have a failure, our system does not need any time to react. It's already connected. That is why it can also filter because it is connected all the time. This thing is connected to the power bus. And that is why, as you can see here, that's why it doesn't capture. If I put it on the mode of uh, capture a single one, single, right? There is no, no spike that it can capture because there is none there. That's why you have to go into auto mode. So you can see the, the see that? Nice and filtered. That is the difference. Therefore, those are not the same type of units. Ours is different. Ours design differently. When Frank Morodielos and Angel Rojas brought me the old one, the white one, the RC, the, the RC prototyping, I said, Okay, I will, because they wanted, because they went out of business and then they told me to make uh, ones for them. I said, I, I'm not going to use their approach because I don't think that that is the right approach. And that's why I design these things to be fully connected all the time. Because that way we can use this, which is a fantastic filter, to filter all this back EMF. So that's why they are not the same. And if you want to know another thing is when you disconnect it, notice this thing, this is going to be interesting. When you disconnect the power, okay, I'm going to disconnect the power here. Hold on, unplug the battery. Notice it has not started. Why? Because there is no need. But if I use current, See, immediately there you go and now 73 degrees celsius yeah, it's so that's why when people say celsius. be connected again so it will stop temperature 73 degrees celsius okay so when people tell me i don't know what's going on i cannot uh turn off the the um the xr plus is because when you unplug it okay when you unplug it you need to wiggle the sticks. So there is consumption because ours is current based, not the voltage phase. If you disconnect this, there is no voltage drop. You know why? Because it is connected. This thing is powering the system. But because it's not consuming enough, it will not think, okay, there's no need for me to trigger any emergency because there's no emergency yet. Now, if you have any consumption, it will measure consumption coming out of that and say, oh, hold on for a second. There is consumption. That means the BEC from the helicopter failed. And now we are depending only on the capacitor. And immediately through this little wire here, sends a signal to the radio. And that's why you saw that the radio went and told you that the temperature is whatever, because that's the way we actually let you know. We simulate. Now, I just disconnected that. Notice it's not active, it's not active at all, not active. Now, let me do a little bit, wiggle, see, immediately, there it is. See that? Blinking, and now we have, so when you have a failure, instead of, instead of waiting for the voltage to drop to six volts or something like that before you, you know, it will tell you right away, immediately, that you need to land. So now you have the full eight volts that is here. All of these volts that are here are fully available for you to to um to land from eight volts, not from six volts. So that is why it's different. Another thing that people ask me why are the same? Because I'll tell you why. Because you see the shape of the capacitors. That's it. That is why the shape of this thing is round on the edges. Because it's simply that. Now, ours is, has these uh, ports because we have telemetry, we have, um, uh, what do you call this thing? Um, strobe lights and uh, and uh, buzzer and um, telemetry and um, see a spectrum here, Mikado here. This is for an, for a, for an, um, 
remote uh, off switch if you want to have that. So it has a whole bunch of, a bunch of features. And also it can be powered off from the radio. All right, so that shows you the difference between the two. And uh, so please, when you say, yeah, they're all the same. No, they're not. They're absolutely not. They are completely different units and they have different purposes and different operations, different circuitry. The only thing that is similar is the shape of the of the of the board because it is mandated by the shape of the capacitors. No matter what brand capacitors you use, they all have the same size because it's standardized. So obviously all the PC boards are going to be exactly the same shape because that's exactly the way the capacitors shape the board. All right, so, okay, that's it. And uh, so please um, click on subscribe uh, and also click on the uh, little uh, bell there that says um, uh, notifications so you can get all notifications from our, from our channel, okay? Thank you, bye-bye.